welcome. This is the after lunch crowd, so we'll try to keep it lively for you. Um, as Jeffrey mentioned, we just went through a major brand reformation with Ally. Uh, it started in 2009, and we refocused on really how do we stay relevant in the digital space. Ally, for those of you who may not know, is a digital-only bank. We consider ourselves the leader in digital financial services. So everything we do is really focused around our core pillars that you see here. Do right, tirelessly innovate, and obsess over the customer. So I'm here to talk about Lucky Penny today. Has anybody heard of the Lucky Penny activation? Yay! Oh, thank you. Um, we found a lot of success with Lucky Penny as a demonstration of our brand and an activation with the consumer mindset in October of this past year. It was a sweepstakes, which never hurts to give money away to people. But in the ways that we were um, truly integrating different channels and working with strategic partnerships, we saw a lot of online success, a lot of social sh following, things like um, we were t uh, trending on Facebook, which was the first time that we We've ever had that for any of our marketing campaigns, and a huge jump in our brand favorability. So really the essence of Lucky Penny was about reminding people that every little dollar counts, even down to the last cent, and Ally is there to be your financial ally, relentless about our customers' well-being. And instead of reading all of this on the page, we're going to play a video. nearly 10 billion pennies minted each year, half of them are removed from circulation. People simply don't value them anymore. Pennies, do they still do those? <laughs> I can't stand pennies. <laughs> Dropped a bunch of change and I only picked up the quarters and I left the pennies and the nickels. On the floor? Yeah. It's annoying when people only tip pennies. It's just extra clutter in my pocket. <laughs> no. New York's too dirty to pick up pennies off the ground. No. No, 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 no. 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 Then I'll pick up the penny. Now I'm going to start paying attention. Keep an eye out. Yeah, that would do a lot for the student loans. Thank you. We did make custom pennies for that, as you can see on the screen here. Um, they have a special weight. Somebody was asking me about that earlier, so we did have to get them checked by Treasury. Don't worry if compliance is in the room. Um, ten cities, our top ten DMAs across the country, got ten pennies. In each one, we used social to put out cues around where you could find it and really get the conversation started using the video that you saw there, our long-form online video in YouTube and on our social feeds, to just kind of plant the seed of the idea. So this really worked for us because we were really thinking about where are our customers, where are the people that may not have any idea who we are um, and what we do, and how can we make that connection between our brand, a demonstration of our brand positioning, and reinforcing what industry we're in. We really looked at um, integrating TV, OLV, and social, as I said, and the sweepstakes lasted about two and a half months. We also looked at our B2B channels. As, as Jeffrey mentioned, we have a long legacy in the auto space, and so we've looked at how we could activate dealer uh, properties across the US, and so we did the dealer activations for Lucky Penny. And then lastly, our employee activations. This was a truly 360 campaign, the first time that uh, we've ever done anything like this at Ally, where we're connecting the dots for our employees with the marketing tactics that we're doing externally. With the internal ones, uh, employees found pennies across our 20 different um, facilities in the US, and uh, not only won money, but also got to donate money to charity. So you can see here, it was a great way for the employee, employees to feel a part of not only the brand, but the activations. We had a great following with PR. We gave people a place to go with the landing pages and the activation forms, allowing them to read our story on their time. We had a lot of great traction here with the videos as well. My favorite, personally, is the Meet the Winner videos. We tracked everyone that found a penny 
got their stories, sent crews out, understood, heard, you know, somebody was in Chicago on vacation, they found a penny, and that gave them the money to take their family to Disney World on vacation. That is authentic brand experiences that you cannot buy anywhere. In social, we had a really successful engagement rate, again, because we were talking about authentic content that was contextually relevant to the channel. So looking at things like Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, doing the custom filters, they're really not that expensive and they're great ways for people to stay engaged with your um, promotion. We tracked all this and knew that we were having success uh, with this idea through social listening and really getting that validation and looking at what people were saying across all the mediums that they were making that connection between our brand and the identity that we were trying to put out there. Lastly, but not least, we focused on really customized uh, strategic integrations with things like ESPN and Jimmy Kimmel. We worked with their writers, not only to look at where we could badge brand, as many of us call it, um, our brand into their space, but really write custom segments that use the personalities of their shows to relay the message. As you can see here, Jimmy Kimmel, if anyone saw it, um, did like a penny, you know, um, fortune teller segment that was hilarious. And again, it was a really great way to show how we're different as a brand and as a bank and uh, equate that value to our customer base. So when we're looking at how do we measure success of brand campaigns, right, it's really difficult. Everyone's like, show me the ROI. Well, the things that we truly value, being clever, being unique, being differentiated, putting customers first, had uptick in all of those. Across the board, people who did and did not know who we were, we saw upwards of 73% likes on the campaign. So we knew that we were not only being successful in connecting that message, but also in resonating with people that we can build. We've initiated that customer base, that identity of who we are, and now we can retarget them with CRM efforts to familiarize them more deeply with what kind of company we are, and then ultimately what kind of rates we have and products we have and all that kind of fun stuff. Lastly, um, our brand awareness studies, the things that we mostly hold dear. I understand more about Ally. I know that they are a customer-centric brand. I'm more likely to look at Ally after seeing this. They care about my financial well-being. These were all things that we had over 50% uptick in the way that we measure our brand success. So lastly, but not leastly, the five things, per passion and perseverance have to be key. Your brand is not a logo. My team hears me say that all the time. It's about integrated experiences. Brand success cannot be bought, okay? It's gotta be true to the channels. Financial brands don't have to be stale. Look at us, we've done a really great job, I think. I'm gonna pat us on the back. And lastly, brands don't change, they evolve. If you're staying true to your, the center of your brand and who you are, you're evolving with the times and staying relevant. Thank you.